Today, I'm going to make a stop to one of the most well-known deities of Egyptian mythology. The god who made all things work. A real problem solver. The god Thoth. Thoth is one of the oldest worshipped deities in Egyptian culture and the history of the world. He was also considered the god of writing, wisdom and magic. He was associated with order and justice and was an advisor and mediator to the gods. Patron of the scribes, his female counterpart was Seshat, goddess of writing and keeper of books. Thoth created language and Seshat gave his words to the people. Thoth had two manifestations, as a baboon and an ibis. Thoth, as a baboon, is depicted as a heavily maned seated animal with paws resting on his knees, with the lunar disc and crescent on his head. Sometimes he wears the Asef crown, or the crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. His ibis depiction is that of an ibis, or more frequently, of an ibis-headed man. The Egyptian gods were a quarrelsome lot, and Thoth's role as mediator and problem solver was frequently called upon. When Ra cursed his daughter Nut, forbidding her to give birth on any day of the year, she came to Thoth for help. Wise old Thoth overcame the curse by gambling with the moon god, Khonsu, for some of his light. He won one seventy-second of the moon's light, enough for five extra days in the year, allowing Nut to have her five children, Osiris, Isis, Geb, Nephis and Horus, and extending the annual calendar from 360 to 365 days. Again, when Set murdered his brother, Osiris, it was Thoth who helped his wife, Isis, to perform the ritual to bring him back to life and gave her the magic words so that Osiris could beget Horus. He later used his wisdom and magic to support Horus in the ongoing wars with Set. Yet again, when Tefnut, goddess of rain and moisture, essential to maintaining life in the desert environment of Egypt, became estranged from her father Ra and fled to Nubia. Ra sent Thoth with Shu, messenger of the gods and husband Tefnut, disguised as baboons to persuade her to come home. They succeeded in their quest and returned to great rejoicing in the land of Egypt. Thoth also assisted Osiris and Anubis in the Hall of Truth by recording the outcome of the weighing of the heart against the feather of truth deciding whether or not a person could enter the afterlife. Three myths surround the birth of Thoth. The first one is that Thoth is born during a struggle for the throne of a unified Egypt. Set and Horus are locked in an 80-year struggle to determine who will be the pharaoh of Egypt. Egyptian law details how Thoth is born from the forehead of Set during one of these challenges. Both Set and Horus are the parents of Thoth in this version but it is Horus's semen who makes the god. In another origin story, Thoth is present at the beginning of all creation. In this story, he is known as the god with no mother. He is fathered by Ra, the male sun god. Thoth is birthed from the lips of Ra. The final theory in Egyptian mythology is that Thoth is self-created at the beginning of creation. From this perspective, he wills himself into existence by talking. This is why he is credited with inventing language and being the Egyptian god of knowledge. For the Egyptians, Thoth was the founder of all major disciplines such as science, religion, philosophy and magic. The Greeks extended Thoth's wisdom by including mathematics, astronomy, medicine and theology. For both the Egyptians and Greeks, Thoth was venerated and honoured as a god of knowledge and wisdom. Thoth was given the primary task of maintaining balance and equilibrium in the universe. For this purpose, he had to ensure that evil did not grow and foster on Earth. Most myths speak of Thoth as a man with impeccable, persuasive speaking skills. Archaeological evidence suggests that Thoth was an important deity who was worshipped across Egypt. There have been discoveries of several shrines and temples built in his honour. Thoth continues to be relevant even today. This was my incursion into the history and myths of Thoth, the mediator of the gods and the god of knowledge and wisdom.